Tell me a little bit about the character. Um, I play Clayton Danvers. He's the um, impulsive, passionate, at times aggressive uh, pack beta at um, Stonehaven. Um, he is the one who bit Elena and turned her into a werewolf for some very particular reasons. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of the enforcer of the pack and um, yeah, was uh, bitten as a, as a young boy and lived feral in the swamps down south and um, was basically saved by Jeremy Danvers and domesticated and you know, brought up to be the man I am today. That's cool. So, I mean, what's your, what's your impression of the relationship uh, when things begin with Elena? Obviously it's a bit rocky. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, our relationship's definitely rocky just to, to begin with. Um, we kind of pick up the show a year after she left Stonehaven. Um, um, because she wanted to try to live a normal life in Toronto, a somewhat normal life, as normal as it can be as a werewolf. And um, yeah, she's come back, she's summoned back by Jeremy, our pack alpha, um, because there's a recent uprising in Mutz and we need her help to deal with them. So she comes back to Stonehaven, you know, old habits die hard and there's a, there's a lot of resentment, there's a lot of passion and, you know, conflicted feelings, but um, well, we'll see where it develops. I, uh, I really, I've spoken to a few people about the fact that I like that there's no real in-camera transition for the werewolves. So, is it easier the fact that you don't have to be put into a lot of weird makeup to do that whole transition thing? Um, yeah, and to be honest, I haven't filmed a change, a change um, this, uh, this season. Um, so I couldn't comment on that, but yeah, I mean... You know, I, I can't even comment on it because I, yeah. I don't know what it would be like either way, so... You know, it's always nice when you have to wear less makeup because makeup's, you know, prosthetics are a bitch, so. Right. Yeah. What's the uh, action like? It seems like a pretty intense role. Yeah, there's been tons of action, actually. I've, um, it's kind of my first experience doing fight choreography. Um, so it's been a, a, it's been a lot of learning, but um, I think I'm getting the hang of it. But we're, just, you know, there's, there's tons of action in the show. We're fighting mutts and um, fighting each other for fun and training. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's been a, it's been a ride. Do you enjoy the physicality of it now that you've kind of gotten into it? Yeah, yeah, I really do. I love the fight choreography, and um, we've got a great uh, stunt coordinator, John Stead. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of like a dance, um, the stunt choreography, especially when you get it tuned in and you just, you know, playing off the other person and, you know, trying not to actually hurt them. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's been fun. Have there been bruises and uh, oh, yes. damage? Yeah. Oh, yes. It's, um, you don't come out unscathed, that's for sure. You, uh, there's there's some missed hits and um, it's just the nature of what you're doing. I mean you're you know you're fighting, of course. And uh, you know even when you're not supposed to hit each other, you, you know you get hit. So. What's your favorite part otherwise? Uh, has there been a particular thing that you've done in this that, aside from the fighting that's been kind of different from what you've done before? Um, yeah, this character's in general is you know I've never really played a character like this before, so it's been fun just to find things out about him as I go along and um, to, you know, to, to figure it out over 13 episodes too. So uh, it's been just really enjoyable to kind of discover Clay Danvers, you know, on my own and, you know, with the book, with the book as, you know, a bit of a resource. It's been, right. it's been a good journey. Did you have a particular vision for him going in or that you kind of come out with? Yeah, it's definitely evolved over the shoot, but, you know, going in, I, you know, I took from the book as much as I could, but I mean, you know, I have to have artistic license to kind of make it my own. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I just I drew on some of my own experiences and you know some of my own traits, and you know, um, added some of Clay's traits from the books, and you know, just kind of came up with my interpretation of Clay Danvers. Is in your mind, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? Is he just somewhere in the middle? I, I think through and through, Clay's a good guy. I mean, he, he has to do bad things to bad people, but. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I never pictured Clay as a, a bad guy. I mean, he's ruthless and brutal, but um, for the right reasons, I guess. Right. <laughs> That's cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, man.